Let's talk now about constants and variables. Computer programs store data. They, they keep track of things, depending on what the program is. Uh, if you have uh, an object that you're rotating, you might have a variable inside that tells you how much the object is rotated at this particular instant. Maybe a uh, color. In the case of a chat program, maybe there's a flood control mechanism implemented to prevent people from sending more than one message every 10 seconds. So in that case, it would need to know for each student when, what at what time they can send the next message. Um, a score in a game, the name of a player, where on a game map a player is located. You've probably played games where you move around in some kind of world. And what the player is carrying could be um, shields or weapons or puzzle pieces or keys. And these pieces of information are of different types. Some are numbers. Um, a score is a number. How much an object is rotated is a number. A color can be represented as numbers or um, a word like blue. And some are strings. Um, a string is something like uh, that contains words or symbols. So a player's name would be a string. And then you could have a location in a 2D or 3D world using XYZ coordinates or XY coordinates. Or on the sphere of the Earth, latitude, longitude, and elevation is what we use. It's one way we locate points on the Earth or above the Earth. And an inventory is a collection of zero or more items, the items being strings or some other type. And um, maybe you have the names of the items like backpack and shovel and uh, other things. Or maybe it's a number that represents the object that you have. And in JavaScript, there's a common collection type called the array that we'll use a lot. When you have a game that you're playing and you save the game, the game writes the values of these variables that it tracks, um, that track where you are in the game, from the computer's random access memory onto a more permanent storage, either uh, a solid state drive, a lot of you have solid state drives now, or a hard disk drive or a mechanical drive, Those are that's the older kind. Here's an article that explains the difference if you're curious about that. Uh, let's play now with some variables in the what's called the Python visualizer, even though we're going to use it with JavaScript. Here in these eight lines of JavaScript code, we're creating variables and giving them values and then changing the values just to show examples of how you might do that in, a, in your own program. And um, the red arrow shows the line of code we're about to execute, and when I push forward, it executes the line. I'm going to push forward now and we're going to see that we've created a variable called player with the value of Dave. Now I'm going to push forward again and now we also have a score of zero. And now we have starting health of 100. Notice that I created player and score using this keyword here, let. Let player equals Dave, let score equals zero. And with starting help, I use const. That's because for this particular variable, I know that it's not going to change. And so I say that it's not going to change. Uh, on line four, what do you think is going to happen? We're creating something called health. So you'll see a new line here, health. And what is its starting value going to be? It's going to get its value from starting health. Starting health has a value of 100. So when I push forward, health will also have a value of 100. Here we go. Next, this operator says, take whatever's in score, what does it have in there? Add 10 to it, and then put the sum back in score. So what's going to be in score when I push forward? Were you right? 0 plus 10 is 10. That's what we have now. Minus minus health means subtract 1 from health and store the result in health. 100 minus 1 is 99. Now we have 99 here. What do you think is going to happen with this? You saw the plus equal. This is minus equal. Health is now 5 less than it was. 
Now we add one to score. Score is 10, so this should make it 11. And a question I asked in class was, why is score 11 now at the end of this? And it's 11 because it started at zero. We added 10, and then we added one. Okay, that's it for now for constants and variables.